Hello, we are BPTW. We are master planners and architects, and our approach is to work with the community to shape new homes and neighbourhoods. We are recognised for our regeneration work and have developed a vast amount of experience over the last 30 years. We have done this very successfully before with other estates such as Heathside and Lethbridge and Lewisham, when we are completing the last phase now, having started around eight years ago. Stockwell Park in Lambeth, and down the road in Rectory Park in Ealing, where again you can see the construction of the last phases. I think it'd probably be helpful if I just sort of summarised the workshop in a way, because um, the discussions have been really helpful. And I think the themes that came across for me, and I'm sure Andy, you'll have some views on this as well, but the, the, the idea of the home, spacious homes that exist on the, on the estate now, some people need to think about, but they, they lack balconies, but there are things about the homes that they really, really like the residents like, like a separate kitchen, for example. Yeah. That seems to be like a really high priority for some. Mm. And I think that's something that we need to think about. Balconies and gardens and terraces, you know, outside space that belongs to the home. So how can how can make that more accessible? Different types of space to suit different types of people. So, um, you know, activities singly on your own to little play areas to have meeting friends to then something that might happen more collectively in the park which I think is you know given the fantastic opportunity of the park the, the principle of the street was came up a lot and a, a few times I think and you know a two-sided street something that everyone understands that is recognizable in London an important point came up in one of my groups which was around parking and how we can provide the right amount of parking here in a way that doesn't blight the landscape as it currently does. It's, it's kind of open and large car parks. Uh, we can avoid that by using podium parking like we did at Parkside. So that's tucked away underneath communal gardens that are really attractive. So no one would ever know it's there. And what's on top is adding even more kind of amenity value mm. to the whole development. So I think that's definitely a, a, some, uh, an idea we can bring forward here to, to kind of solve that challenge. Uh, building heights came up, which is always a concern for residents in a regeneration. And they already had an idea of what they felt they'd be comfortable with, which was between six and eight stories, came up a couple of times from various people. Yeah. Actually, from our analysis, I think we can hit that kind of maximum height and, and hit the numbers that have been suggested. So I think that's, that's quite a good starting point. And the typical building we might look at is a little bit like what we've used on a number of projects, but this is Parkside again. This is seven storeys, similar density to that that we need at Convent Way. Uh, parking's dealt with. We've got nice setbacks at the top with terraces and balconies and communal gardens. It Just seems like a good model. Um, and I mean, the other thing obviously was about the community spaces as well. You know, what exists on, on the estate, a, a shop in it, you know, surrounded by a car park. It is, it is a kind of destination, but you wouldn't linger there because, you know, there's nothing else there. You pop to the shop, go home, that's the feeling I got. But there's an opportunity for a centre Yeah, there. With shops and new landscape and commercial and as well probably have a community centre well, which stands out. Yeah, let's find out what could point. work, you know, what, what is needed in the, this area, in the wider area, what the residents mm. want and what can, what can actually happen here. It's, that's, that's within our master planning role to kind of think the look at the big picture. We're going to present our ideas to you now and um, these are the, the ideas we've had so far uh, picking up on the workshops we've been involved with and the information we've received but they're by no means the final ideas and um, it's very much about understanding your views your priorities and how we can incorporate them into any designs going forward in terms of the master plan so far we think green space needs to be at the heart of the master plan and have an idea for a new linear park that sits along the southern boundary next to the golf course keeping as many of the existing trees as possible and other smaller green spaces near new homes. Improving access to and from these spaces, making it all overlooked and feel much safer. The master plan doesn't rely on tall buildings. Uh, we think we can achieve the number of homes and keep the building heights relatively low. So we're looking at the moment at two and three storey houses or five to eight maximum storeys in flats. We'll create tree lined avenues that run through the master plan, connecting from one side to the other. This is where you'll bus route will run 
will create gateway squares at either end so that you, you know when you're entering into your new development and a central square in the middle which will form the heart of your community. There'll be links through to the green spaces from this avenue and all your homes will be accessed from this location and car parking will be along traditional streets as well as underneath your communal gardens, hiding your cars from view safely and maximising the amount of amenity available to residents. We want to provide a, a wide variety of homes, uh, whether that's flats, maisonettes or houses, to make sure that the whole community um, is accommodated. Uh, whether that's kind of new families uh, or new couples just starting out or uh, kind of established large families, or perhaps elderly couples or, or those with disabilities. All of the homes will have uh, generous windows. Uh, they'll be well lit by natural light um, and be well ventilated. Um, this will provide fantastic opportunities to look out over the landscape that we're creating, whether that's the existing golf course or the new green spaces that will be incorporated into the design. We'd like to provide a community space in a central single location. That would be a space to bring uh, the people, but as well some new local shop, coffee and a new community centre in the heart of the estate. It would be a meeting space uh, and a focal point for the community and it would be a great link for pedestrians to uh, reach the park. Thank you for watching our short video. We hope that you've been interested by some of our initial ideas for how we can develop a master plan working with you to shape the future of Convent Way. We really look forward to continuing our work.